Hey, it's Courtney Christiana with the Whiskey Wash, and it's also my birthday. I thought I would do something totally rare and exclusive for you all. I'm going to do an initial tasting review video. I don't do these for a few reasons. One being is the space. It just doesn't lie. So if I like it, if I don't like it, if I think it's meh, my face is just going to show. <laughs> so yeah. Secondly is, I've said it before, I'll say it again, your palette changes day to day. Um, it changes even throughout the day. It depends when you ate, what you ate, when you brushed your teeth, how you're feeling, what your hormones are doing inside your body, blah, 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 um, all that jazz. So I don't think it's fair to base your review just on your initial tasting. Um, it's not fair to the whiskey, the distillery, uh, the whiskey makers, the people that put their heart and soul into the product. Um, so I think it's more accurate if you do a tasting, another tasting, a third tasting, compare your notes, and then get the whole picture. So you will see my full-fledged review above or in the link that I post um, with this video. And... Yeah, I did, however, pick a whiskey that I think I'll be guaranteed to love. Um, I don't think it is a coincidence that I was born in May, that Isles in May, our big day is May 30th. And so, yeah, it's a dream of mine to go to Scotland in May, backpack around the entire area, go to every single distillery, see a Highland cow, and just drink all the scotch. I love it love scotch so much and that is why I'm really excited that this initial review tasting will be for the um, Ardbeg Black. Yes, Ardbeg Black. That's because there's three A's in, there's three A's in the uh, Ardbeg Black. Uh, see, three, three A's. Um, <laughs> so it is, it is in reference to sheep. Um, secondly, this is actually the committee edition. So this year is the 20th anniversary of the Ardbeg committee um, that helps pick the Fat Isle releases. So I'm pretty excited to taste this. Sadly, it's just a little baby sample. I did not get a full bottle, um, but I will go buy a full bottle probably because it's Ardbeg and I love Ardbeg. Uh, my boss calls me the bog witch or I've been called a peep princess before. So, let's get on with this. Uh, let's open it, it's never been opened. I do not have Glen Cairn with me, just FYI, I am down in Sacramento at my mother's house, um, and I just have a rocks glass here. So, we're just gonna pour this. This is a really nice dark amber color. I'd say medium amber. Um, it's pretty basic, standard art bag color. Um, mm, oh man, that smells amazing. Oh, it's very earthy. You get peat, but not like crazy punch in the face peat. It's very. It's there. It's it's there, but it's nice. It's mellow with a lot of grain. Like like you get that malted barley. Um, hmm. I get a little oranginess to it, but Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is so good, you guys. Whew, okay, that is a lot to, to entertain right there. Um, I'm going to say it's fairly complex with, um, it's got a nice soft, not oily mouthfeel, but 
Just a nice kind of slick oil, like mouthfeel to it. It's not heavy, it's pretty light. You get that nice afterglow in your belly. It's just sitting like in the nice top of my belly there. It's got, I almost want to say it has a sense of charcoal to it, but it's not. It's, hmm. You definitely get that orange from the nose. But it almost reminds me of kind of reminds me of like one of those um, chocolate orange balls. You now you whack on the table. Um, <laughs> that's that's my first thought. Yeah, that charcoal feel that I was getting is actually more of like a cigar ash feel to it at the end. Um, it's not very leather, leathery at all, but it has that smell. Like when you smell an old baseball glove, it has that, it has that scent to it um, that you can taste, but it's not the actual taste of leather. Uh, so, some whiskeys have that really harsh leathery taste to it. Um, like that tanned leather this just has is very very mild it's more of a more of that feeling when you smell something like you inhale it you can kind of taste it kind of like that it's really the mouthfeel it's clean this is the like one of the cleanest tasting scotches I've ever tasted Mm, yeah, I could see myself knitting a sweater with this by my side. Yeah. It's not, it's, it feels a bit hot in the finish there, but it's not, like it's warming, but not completely burning you. Um, it is actually, what is the proof on this? Okay, it's 50.7 per, yeah, 50.7 percent alcohol. Um, so just a little over a hundred proof, um, not too bad. Doesn't drink like that at all. Mm. Ooh, yeah. There's a little pop of um. Yeah, just again, you get a little of that orange. There's a little tiny amount of stone fruit to it. But it's pretty mild. Pretty mild in flavor. I mean, it packs a punch with the peat and the smoke and the cigar ash. But it's not... It will unveil itself to you. Uh, let me try with a bit of water here. Do that, just a little bit of water. Mmm, this has a deep butterscotch note to it. Mmm, yeah, like real butterscotch. It's just, just a bunch of butterscotch once you add in some water to it. gets smoother with the um, like a more velvety smooth uh mouthfeel when you add in the water to it and now it tastes like you're eating um shreddies oh which is like a shredded wheat with a little bit of tiny almost like life cereal but with more wheat like a shredded wheat with a little bit of sugar The sweetness comes out more with a little bit of water because you don't get a lot of sweetness from the unit like without it when it's neat. 
definitely warms you up. And uh, being in California, it's already hot, but now I'm like ridiculously hot on the inside. So I would recommend this on cool nights. Uh, <laughs> yes, cool nights. Yeah, the orange is nice. Yeah, it's overall, it's nice. Mm. Give this, yeah, I give this a 4.5 or 5. I'll do more later. Um, I'll settle on a score later. But um, so far, it's definitely, it's definitely up there. Um... I'm still partial to like the Cory Brecken or the Dark Cove or the Kelpie. Those are my top three yard bags, but this is fantastic. So I definitely recommend buying a bottle of this um, yard bag. Black. Um, yes. Uh, fun fact is I used to go around the stores with my friends. Um, I like to wander off because I have. I, it's like squirrel and then I just wander off and then my friends are always like where did Courtney go and it's because I wandered off and so we used to play Marco Polo in the grocery store however some people would be jerks play along <laughs> and that wouldn't help so instead of calling out back if my friend said Marco I didn't say Polo I would just go bah! Bah! so you'd hear Marco from my friend and then you would hear me go bah! and that was to help <laughs> them find me because no one else can um no one plays marco polo with a goat or a sheep so i thought that would be easier so if other people were yelling out polo my friends could find me so anyways i'm going to drink this last sip yeah i really like that um, yeah, stay tuned for the whole, um, full-fledged review on it. Um, I'll give more deep notes to it, um, just because, again, this is the initial tasting. Um, I'll do it a couple more times and really break it down, figure out the palette more. But so far, yeah, you get orange. You get a nice malted barley grain to it, um, which I really like tasting the grain in my whiskey. Um, this one has that, I love a good cigar ash finish to it. So yeah, yeah, uh, you'll see the full rating. I'll give it a number, um, but so far, yeah. Good job, Ardbeg. Love you, um, stay safe. Uh, I can't wait to watch Art Big Day on the virtual reality. <laughs> Signing off. Have a great one.